Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So glad that you are here. Just a little heads up. Today's video is going to be the exact same. The only difference is I have my little dog in my uh, car with me sitting in the passenger seat. So if I get distracted or you hear weird noises or I have to catch the tripod because it's going to move, that's why. But anyways, let's jump into it. Today's topic is if you're having doubts, then this is your reminder. So I am here today to remind you of how capable you are. How capable you are of achieving everything that you have imagined in your mind and that you desire in your heart. The only reason that you're having doubts, or reasons I should say, are just a few. The first reason you may be having doubts is one, societal programming, right? As an awakened one, as a light worker, as a star seed, you know how we literally have been programmed since before we were born, to be honest, uh, into what we should think, what we should do, how we should act, that things are just the way they are and that this is the way that it is because this is the way things have always been done. And people in your circle growing up, whether it's teachers, whether it's friends, whether it's family, all throughout your life, you've been told what you can and cannot do. But now that you're awakened, you understand and know that these are simply projections from other people of what they feel that they can't do and they've put onto you. But now that you're awakened, you're moving through all these deep rooted societal programmed beliefs and you're in the process of letting go of those old beliefs and reprogramming your mind, I'm here to remind you, you are capable, all that other stuff, straight BS. It's all the doubts, it's all the fears from other people that have been ingrained into your being on a deep subconscious level. And now that you're bringing everything to light and you're healing, you're moving past these things, you want something greater for yourself, you wanna help other people, you wanna be a spiritually, or you are spiritually aligned and you wanna have a spiritually aligned career deep within your purpose, whatever your skill set is, you're working through that. So if you're having doubts, this is your reminder that you're way more capable than you're giving your credit, your, yourself credit for. And if you are having doubts, that's still the old programming that's coming up and it's your job right now in your process to uproot and replant new seeds of beliefs of what you know to be true, everything that's coming to light. The second reason you may be having doubts is if you have been on your journey or you are on your journey and you're in the process of making something great, you're in the process of building this business, uh, you're in the process of moving cities, moving careers, getting out of relationships, uh, you're working on something and you're having doubts and you're coming to that point where, oh my God, it's been X amount of many years, I've had so many hardships, it just doesn't seem to be working. There's a couple of things that I'll, I have to share about that one you may be so close to having your breakthrough and that you just need to keep going. You may be so close to having your breakthrough. Do not give up. You're only having doubts because this is your final test before you pass that test and have that big breakthrough and see the light and all the things that you had imagined when you started this journey starts to come to fruition. That may be one reason that you're starting to have doubts because you're really close. Along those same lines, if you're having doubts and things aren't moving, you have been on that journey, you may need to re-strategize. You may need to take a step back, look at things differently, gain some different perspectives, maybe a new approach, maybe the way that you're doing it or the way that you're going about it hasn't been effective and this is the universe's way of saying, hey, you need to take a step back, you need to look at things a different, there's a better way to do this. One thing that I would recommend, and actually this has got me thinking in my own mind, who my next mentor is gonna be, look for help. Seek out the people who are doing the things that you are doing, who are having the levels of success that you are having. Either seek out, or even better yet, attract being an awakened one, knowing that everything is energy and that we attract what we really want. We don't have to chase anything. Attract these helpful people. Attract these helpful resources. Attract these new opportunities into your life that will help you gain a different perspective and or the knowledge and expertise that you may be missing in order to succeed and have that final breakthrough. So if you're having doubts, to reiterate again, you may be still working through some of the societal programming that you can't or you don't have what it takes or you're not good enough. 
or you may need to look at your approach differently and attract some different resources, attract some mentors in your life, people that are having that perspective so that you can have the information that you're missing in order to break through. These are a couple things. Uh, the story I brought up the other day comes from Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. And if you haven't read that, that'd be a great place to start on resources, personal development books. Some people are not readers. They say that, but honestly, reading, it's just because they haven't been practicing reading and there's nothing better you can do than to read because it's like exercise for your mind, right? If you were out of shape, you wouldn't, you know, uh, <laughs> this is the analogy I'll use. If you were out of shape and you wanted to get into shape, you could like buy one of those belts that make that like shock your midsection thinking you're going to lose weight. That's not what it is. Uh, to me, that's what audiobooks are. Make the time to read because reading is like exercising for your mind. It's like lifting weights and running or whatever kind of physical activity. It's the mental activity. Because when you're doing audiobooks, sure, if you've read the book already and you want to reiterate some of the ideas, I think they're great. But it's more of like this passive learning. When you're reading, you're actively engaging your mind. You're sharpening your mental cognition, your mental acuity, and that's only gonna help so many processes, uh, both in and outside of your, uh, of your body and your mind. So anyways, that's a side editorial to stay on task here. Uh, what I would recommend, or the book I was referring to, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, he shares in one of his stories, Three Feet from Gold, a very condensed version of that story. A gentleman wants to strike it rich in the gold rush, buys a bunch of equipment, digs and digs and digs and digs, and says, man, this isn't working. I'm only getting, you know, I can't recoup any of my losses. Uh, this isn't for me, I'm just gonna give it up. So he goes and he finds someone in town, sells all of his equipment, and the gentleman who buys all of his stuff and the land claim, he starts digging, and literally three feet in, from where the last gentleman gave up, he strikes it rich and hits the biggest jackpot you could ever imagine. So he was so close. So you've got to just keep going. The perseverance, the consistency, uh, along with attracting people into your life uh, or helping you overcome these doubts. What I've learned is this, the way I view things is that Earth, and you know this as well, a la Dolores Cannon, she'd be another great resource for you to start looking up. Earth is a school. Earth is a school. And so what do we do in school? We learn. What do we learn specifically? We learn lessons. There's a curriculum. There's a lesson plan. So what I recommend doing and what I've found to be true in my own life and just one of the almost universal truths and how things work here on Earth School, you have to learn the lesson that every situation or relationship is teaching you. And when you look and you take some time to reflect on what the situation is and ask yourself, what are the less, what is the lesson or lessons I need to learn about this situation? What is the universe trying to teach me? It's trying to teach me patience. It's trying to teach me temperance. It's trying to teach me uh, how to improve my social skills. It's trying to teach me that I need to approach the way I interact and create connections and relationships differently. Look at whatever the difficult situation is in front of you that's presenting you, and this is in any area of your life, and ask yourself, what are the lessons I need to learn? When you learn those lessons, you will upgrade almost instantly because the universe says, okay, he gets it, she gets it. And when you get it, well, now you've learned that lesson. And what happens next? You go to the next level. Life really is like a video game. You start to level up. So when you learn those lessons, you start to level up. Things get easier. Those situations that were bothering you or those roadblocks that were in the way, once you learn the lesson, magically they disappear. But it wasn't that they disappeared. You learned the lesson. And learning those lessons is your growth. Is your personal and spiritual development, you leveling up to a new level. And you will know when you've learned the lesson in a few ways. The situations that used to cause you problems, they don't cause you problems anymore. The difficult uh, recurring patterns of say, you know, oh man, I used to always, you know, you're a woman, and I used to always date guys that were like this. Okay, well, I'm finally gonna stay away from guys like that. 
When you stop staying away from guys like that, you're not going to encounter them anymore because you've learned the lesson. And the universe will present you with tests to check if you've learned those lessons. As I like to say, the learning is in the application. So if you've really learned something, then the universe will present a test to you and you will pass that test by applying the lesson you've learned. So in that example, you're a woman who's always gotten relationships with guys who are unavailable, who are dishonest. Okay, well, if you've learned how do you judge people's character more accurately, the universe will present you with the test and say, here's this guy who's the guy of your dreams, but it's just testing if you've learned the lesson of character judgment, seeing the same signs and signals in this dude and say, okay, great. When you have, you will level up to a next level of guy and maybe find the love of your life or the person that you're looking for. So the learning is I've learned that lesson. Now you've applied it. So it'll put the universe will put that test back into your life and say, okay, you've learned that lesson. Here's your test. Show me. This guy is the you know most attractive dude and all this stuff, but he's also unavailable. So did you learn your lesson? If you did and you say, okay, I get it, I see it, he's everything I want on the surface, but I know for a fact that ain't really him, great. All of a sudden, next week you're walking in the grocery store, you end up chatting with some dude and he ends up being the love of your life. So this is how the unit, that's just an example of course, this is how the universe though will put these tests in your path in order to see if you've learned the lesson. So if you're leveling up and you're having doubts, this is all about learning the lesson in earth school about what you need to learn so that you can level up and move on to the next situation. Check in my notes here because uh, we're just about done. The quote, of course, I want to give you today. I love this one. This is from uh, Zig Ziglar, who is one of the old school uh, personal development guys. If you're not familiar with him, he has tons of books out there, literally just type in his name, Zig Ziglar, Z-I-G-Z-I-G-L-A-R. Another grand one along uh, the lines of Zig Ziglar, old school, and he's hilarious and he's awesome, is Jim Rohn, uh, J-I-M-R-O-H-N. Just a couple of resources there. I got tons of resources and great teachers in my life that I am happy to share with you guys as well. So in these videos, I'll just be dropping little knowledge bombs. I had mentioned already Dolores Cannon. She's more on the spiritual uh, awareness side. I haven't even begun to read in her books, but anyways, I digress. So the quote today from Zig Ziglar is, you were designed for accomplishment, engineered for success, and endowed with the seeds of greatness. Zig Ziglar, I love that quote. We are, we're designed for accomplishment. That's why when you complete a task, and or a goal and you've achieved something it feels so good we're designed for this we're designed to level up <clears throat> you're engineered for success we are and have been created to be successful the universe wants us to be successful because this is the divine will for us to be happy healthy and peaceful and accomplish and achieve and have and be and do everything that we want on this life life really is designed to be this beautiful, harmonious, wonderful heaven on earth experience. And if it's not, it's because we haven't learned the lesson yet. But this is what's so gratifying is when we overcome all these things, we start to create that heaven on earth. That's what I'm doing. It's what you're doing. It's why you're watching this video. You know you're on the path. So quit doubting yourself and trust in your heart what you see, what you feel, what you know you deserve. The only thing getting in the way is yourself. It's a societal programming, it's a beliefs. In order to overcome that, we have to learn the lessons and then pass the test. This is how we do it. Of course, we're gonna pull a card at the end of the video today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, this is the only one I've been using right now, Archangel Power Tarot card, because a lot of my stuff is in storage as I'm getting settled in and moving into this, uh, or moving through this transformation and transition in my life tap three times we clear the energy of any past readings we ask for the purest and most divine truth in your highest good my highest good and the highest good of the collective Ooh, many boys moving around i don't want them to knock the tripod i know bubba we're almost done so we shuffle deep breath connecting with the divine feeling in the heart when we stop and what card wants to pop out i usually get chills that's the one Okay, nine of Michael, 
is what we've pulled today. So I always recommend you first look at the picture. Before we read the messages, look at the picture because, woo! Sorry, Manny boy here is, uh, I'll show you. <laughs> He's, I told you got my little doggy. I know, give me one second, dude, we're almost done. Look at the picture first and notice any images that stick out, any colors that stick out. This is what you look at first because this is you developing and trusting your own intuition. Whatever picture or image in this picture is presenting itself, it's for a reason. So I would recommend even pausing the video and saying, what am I noticing in this picture? And what comes up for you, thoughts, images, feelings, as you look at the picture? Write that down, think about it, look for the signals in your life. Is it the owl? You may start seeing owls. What does the owl represent? Wisdom, right? Just kind of go down that path with yourself. Now I'll read the message. It says, your worry is unnecessary. Is that divine or what? What was today's video about? Overcoming those self-doubts if you're having doubts. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. What a coincidence this is. Again, no coincidences, only synchronicities. Release feelings of regret, guilt, and worry to your angels. I mean, this stuff doesn't happen by chance. You already know that, awakened one. You're awakened. You know that this is not by chance that you're watching this video. You know that this is not by chance that we pulled this card. I'm going to read the message again. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. There's no need to have any doubts. There's no need to have any worries. Fear is false evidence appearing real. It's just an illusion and old societal programming and beliefs that you're outgrowing as you reprogram and reinforce the new self-fulfilling positive affirmations and beliefs that you know to be true. I'll read you the extended message and then we'll wrap it up for today. Nine of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. The worst case scenarios you're playing over and over in your mind are unlikely to come true. Free yourself from this form of self-punishment by turning to the power of positive thinking. Release all feelings of regret, guilt, or anxiety to your angels. Consider speaking to a trusted friend, a la yesterday's video, who can help you find an objective point of view, someone you trust. There's not many of them. There's not going to be many of them. Ask your angels for nights of restful sleep and pleasant dreams. Refocus your thoughts on the outcomes that you're hoping for. The additional meanings of this card, <laughs> three feet from gold. But yesterday I was saying it's darkest before dawn, questioning past choices and stress. So quit tripping about stuff, guys. Quit having doubts and worries. Every time you have doubts and worries, you're just stopping your own momentum. You're stopping your own success. You're putting those roadblocks in the way because you're overcoming the fears of the past. I love you guys. That's all I got for you today. It's peace, love, and light to you and yours. We will see you again for another video. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.